I'm Elke Leeds, the Dean and Academic Vice President of the College of IT at Western Governors University. Let's talk about phishing. That's phishing with a PH, not an F. According to phishing.org, phishing is a cybercrime in which targets are contacted by email, phone, or text message by someone posing as a legitimate institution to lure individuals into providing sensitive data, such as personally identifiable information, banking, and credit card details, and passwords. That information is then used to access important accounts and can result in identity theft and financial loss. We care about combating phishing because we want to protect students and employees' information. According to the 2020 Verizon report, industry research shows 96% of attacks to gather login credentials and other personal information were achieved through email phishing attempts. Email links and attachments were the number one vector through which malware was delivered and account for over 60% of attacks. This is a huge problem and it requires more awareness but we've struggled to find new ways to increase that awareness. That is, until the WGU security team had an idea. Last month, students in the WGU Cybersecurity Club teamed up with our Information Security Office to collaborate on a phishing simulation challenge. The goal was to design a phishing email which would be sent to WGU employees to help increase our awareness of phishing emails and the ploys used to compromise our information. 47 students formed 10 teams of participants and got to work. They were instructed to only use open source intelligence to gather information, decide which organization they would target and why, and explain what information they would hope to gain if their victims responded to the spear phishing email. Each team submitted an example of their phishing email to the WGU security team judges. And a team comprised of four students from the Cybersecurity and Network Ops Security program called the Bait Snagglers, won the competition. This is where our employees came in. The Bait Snagglers designed this phishing email, which purported to be from US News and World Report. It contained typical lures used to entice recipients to click on embedded links, like urgency and an invitation to participate in a survey. It also included some of the telltale signs that savvy email users use to detect phishing attempts, like an external email banner, and a specific email domain. Let's hear from one of the bait snagglers on the specifics of their phishing simulation. So after listening to all these details from the team, we went out, had, um, we actually met like two or three times to determine how we would come over with the right campaign. And after we brought up a lot of scenarios and the first one was to um, do a fishing campaign based on COVID and we took another scenario where we do a fishing campaign based on the current situation that we find ourselves in in the pandemic and every institution moving online so we saw that as an opportunity because every institution is looking to promote their um, organization the staffs are looking to give a good name to the organization as to they being the best in providing the best online study for students and once we were able to determine that we settled on using the u.s news email because we know that u.s news email sometimes send out surveys for institutions and they do services that is related to um, institutions performance and ranking and we use that scenario to determine that okay this is going to make sense so we sent out the email um drafted the email the phishing campaign to look like okay um u.s news is putting up a survey to determine which institution is providing the best online education based on rank. And every, everyone, every employee will want to rate their institution as the best. And we saw that that contest based on the current scenario feels together to be able to give an exact um, scenario that will get people interested because every phishing campaign is to make the scenario true as true as possible. And that was our goal. We want to highlight the accomplishments of the bait snagglers who succeeded in raising fishing awareness at WGU. Thanks to students Jeffrey Martin, Isaac Delgado, Michael Vining, and Mark Apienti for your dedication and hard work. One member of the bait snagglers, Michael Vining, serves as the treasurer in the Cybersecurity Club. The club launched in March of 2020 with the goal of providing a community 
for all students with an interest in cybersecurity. In just under five months, membership has grown to over 1,985 members. And with the help of faculty advisors Mike Morris and Bob Curtis, and academic program director Paul Bingham, they've played a tremendous role in the club's growth. Thank you all for your hard work. In addition to the fishing simulation, the Cyber Club has found success in ongoing competitions like Hack the Box and Nice Challenges, where their efforts consistently keep WGU ranked among the top third of participating universities. We're proud of our Cyber Club students and really look forward to seeing what they accomplish next.